At five, you may have noticed the foggy weather lately. Yes, indeed. These conditions are impacting private pilots ability to fly. It sure is. And our Shabnam Dinesh is joining us live now in studio to show us what goes into making the decision to take off or not. Shab. Yeah, Thomas, Rebecca, it was a difficult drive in this morning, so you can only imagine what visibility looks like up in the skies. I could literally see the fog rolling in on the runway at the Mount Holly Airport in Peoria this morning. And local pilots tell me when it comes to flying in bad weather, it's always safety first. I've flown in reduced visibility, but looking out at what it looks like here today, I would not. Some sage advice from Vince Stubbs, a local pilot with decades of flying experience. He's the president of Bradley Flying Association, a private not-for-profit flying club based out of Peoria. Stubbs says basic visual flight rules are three miles of visibility. And he says thick fog causes low visibility, which makes flying pretty much impossible. If I encountered a fog like this unforecasted, I would turn 180 degrees and go back the other direction and land. Like for today, the limits at Peoria would be about a half mile visibility and 600 feet of ceiling. And this, of course, exceeds that. So nobody's flying at Peoria or here at Mount Holly today because of the fog. Thursday's foggy conditions also affecting Lifeline Pilots, an organization of volunteer pilots who fly patients for non-emergency medical care. And when weather like this happens and we're unable to fly, it's so disappointing but it's always safety first. Lindsay Kerr, the executive director of Lifeline Pilots, says it's not an easy decision to make. It's incredibly disappointing. You know, we have people who, although they're going for non-emergency medical care, it's essential medical care. You know, they're going for cancer treatment or for operations, for second opinions, for specialist care, and it's often months in the making. She says patients who depend on Lifeline Pilots are told to have a backup plan in case the weather doesn't cooperate. Oftentimes we say the be best backup plan is for them to reach out to the hospital where they're going and reschedule their appointment and then we'll find new pilots to fly them on the day that they can when the weather's a little better. Now Stubb says pilots do have access to phone numbers and online resources on flying conditions to help them to decide whether or not to fly that day. And he says flying is a hobby for him and hobbies should be fun and flying in weather like this is not fun. Rebecca. All right, Shab, thank you so much.